Hello everyone, welcome back to part 8 of the Simsu Rags to Riches. So in the last episode, I said we were going to focus on Eleanor more, and then I completely disappeared off the face of the earth, and I am sorry about that. Things have been very busy, and I've been trying to do more challenge videos, which is why this one's been a little bit delayed. But we can jump back in, we can finally focus on Eleanor Glass. I think the first thing we need to do is go shopping for some new clothes, find a few people that she can potentially date in the future, and we also need to get her into the athlete career athletics career i can't remember what it's called that is our lifetime aspiration so we'll focus on that i think she still has a teen job though yeah so she's still a lab assistant so she still earns us money at least i've also just remembered that leo and natalia are not married so get up <laughs> you're doing it now in your bedroom you've had three kids one of them is an actual adult you need to sort yourself out propose marriage right at the foot of the bed ah oh, beautiful work in an hour just quickly get it done before work don't worry about it are we close to a promotion? We are, so we might. I think we're near level 10. So we're either level 9 now, or we're about to be level 9. Come on then, Eleanor, let's get you sorted out. Okay, we want a promotion, so please actually go to work. That'd be great. Eleanor, you're in the way. Come on. Now. We're heading out. On our own. And we'll go to Amelia's Closet, which I imagine is a place you can buy clothes. And if it's not, it's very misleading. Oh, we've even got Sims 1 music too. And we can buy clothes here. Let's buy everything we can. One hour later. It's all a little bit shit. I don't really know what to get her. I've decided we're going through our party girl phase, so we're getting this from Nightlife. There we go. I've just blown through all of our money. But it's fine. We're going to start looking for potential dates. I mean, this guy's approaching us. What's your name? Gordon Fox. I'm not sure I want to be called Eleanor Fox, thank you. We'll get to know him anyway. We need friends. I run my own business, and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team, Eleanor. How would you like to start working in the business career as a junior executive for me right now? This is a great opportunity, since this is not an entry-level job. You know what? I'm taking it, until we can find a better one. So I paid 448 a day, which is good. We have most of the skills we need. But we are still going to go for the athletics career eventually. And this guy is desperate to greet us. Chico, relax. I'm in a conversation. Uh, who made free food? Give me those- give me those burnt hot dogs right now. I'm not talking to you anymore. Fucks. Chico, you've been a creep. You've even sat next to me. I'm not even talking to you though. Who am I talking to? No one? Do you know what? I'm gonna let him greet me because I physically can't- I mean, no. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, he's, he's making the move anyway. Ugh, Eleanor, don't accept it. He's being a creep. Ask, where do you get off? Okay, what turned you on? I'm also being misleading. He's into fit people. I am fit if I do say so myself. Corey, I'm choosing you. I need to get my first kiss out of the way. I'm going to do it right here. Okay, I'm very turned off by Corey, but that's even better. We don't have to like him. He's We're just using him for his lips. Everyone is so desperate to introduce themselves to her. Eleanor, um, you're doing a great job here. Clearly they see something I can't. I can only sleep on the floor. Is he leaving? Co no, your name's not Corey, is it? Is it Corey? Corey, Corey, come back. I need my kiss. Well, we've met Corey. Do we have work tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, leave that plate on the floor. It's not your job to clean it up, is it? Don't look at me like that. Eleanor is losing enthusiasm about tinkering. Gutted. <laughs> Corey, I'm asking you to come back round immediately. No, you know what? I'm asking you out on a date. Let me get that first kiss out of the way. And then we can move on to others. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, never mind. I guess. We'll play the violin to get over our troubles. It's every restaurant's worst nightmare. The party of 25 teenagers with no reservations. They showed up on the doorstep with no warning and they're getting rambunctious while they're waiting for a table. At this point, they're starting to annoy the other guests. Natalia could tell them that there's no room and hope they don't make a scene, or she could make room for them by asking the last elderly group she's waiting on to leave. They haven't ordered anything in 40 minutes. Who gets the boot? Grandparents, you're out. You should have ordered. I bet you'll be the boss or something. Natalia walks over to the elderly party and tries to explain the situation to them. But it's been a long day and Natalia's not watching her tone of voice as much as she should. The patrons take offence, pointing out that they spent quite a good deal of money and are now enjoying their unlimited refills of coffee. They call over Natalia's boss and Natalia is chided for being so inconsiderate of some of our best customers. At the end of the night, Natalia's boss approaches her and tells her that she's really not ready for hosting after all. Natalia is demoted to fast food manager. 
Natalia, I mean, yes, that was 100% my fault, but you are not cut out for this job. Her husband's nearly the top of the career ladder. She's pretty much back at the start. It's not our problem. We can go to sleep. Excuse me, I've just bought your clothes. Why do you want to buy more? Absolute shopaholic. Carpool for Natalia comes in an hour. I am so sorry, Natalia. You're really having a bad time of it. Just finish work and you're straight back out there. Oh, Leo's been promoted to assistant coach. So you're retired from playing, a change both dreaded and welcome, but there's an opportunity to stay with the team you love, although this time you'll be carrying a playbook. Make sure you're still networking with friends because your relationships and charisma are going to get you further than your body skill can. Jesus, we had so much money from that. So I'm guessing we have to climb one more stage in the career and then we're at the top? Unless I'm way off. But let's study mechanical, he only needs that point and then we're ready for a promotion again. Apparently Eleanor wants to be friends with Chico, who is just the creep who followed us around all day. Notice the red flags, please. You better have got promoted back up there. You did, okay. <laughs> well done. Oh, I skipped through it again. But Leo is officially an elder, I didn't even know that was coming. Oh, your calves look so bad. Right, Teresa, I only just aged you up from a teen to an adult, I'm dragging you up to being old. Gordon fucks. You're getting old too because you were weird. Do I just not have friends? Where are they? I want an old friend. I don't know any of these people. Marissa, you're coming too. Okay, so I'm saying that was okay, but I'm glad to have grown. I feel like I'm now prepared to tackle this next portion of my life. I'm the last one. I'm not going to retire. So you don't need to yet. I am going to work on my mechanical though. You, Brittany, are very annoying. I'm going to ask you to leave. Oh, okay. I was much more polite than I intended. Okay, let's get up and get ready for our first day of work. Leo, you can piss off. I'm using the toilet first. Thank you. I knew you were going to do this. Okay, Eleanor, are you ready for your first day? You don't have the charisma for a promotion. We're just doing this for cash. Actually, she's got such bad pre-work jitters that she wants to find a different job. If we can get the athletic career, then we're going to go straight for that instead. It's there. We're doing it. Don't go to work. I broke the computer, but we are now in our dream career as a mascot, which is kind of embarrassing. But let's work out. You're just like your dad. Good morning, tenants. It's Monday and the rent is due. Please don't forget to drop your rent in the mailbox. Have I not paid rent the entire time I've been here? <laughs> Have I only been here a week? It feels like I've been here forever. So Lee has been asked by the team's owners to arrange for a piano to be moved for one of the star players, who neither has the time nor the inkling to do it himself. The team doesn't have a budget for these types of expenses, so Leo could ask some of the rookies to do it or save himself the hassle and pay professional mo piano movers to do it. I'm paying the movers, I'm scared. Leo decides to fork out the cash himself for the cost of the professional movers. The movers want 1,500 simoleons, but Leo talks them down to 1,000 and gives them the directions to the player's house in the suburbs. Both the player and the team's management are so impressed with Leo's handling of the situation that he is promoted to coach and management reimburses him for the cost of the movers. One day, one promotion. You'll love to see it. We've got so much money from this now. So we need charisma. And then, I've said it a million times, but hopefully this is it. This will be the promotion. I don't want to distract Leo from getting his charisma skills, so I am just going to quickly throw a shower. Here. <laughs> In the middle of the office. Uh, Mum, could you not? There we are, and I'll sell it straight away. I'm going to invite my pal Corey over. Uh, never mind. <laughs> no, I am not. There we are, mastered charisma. You charming bastard, go to the toilet. I've also remembered that I can get the landlord to repair my laptop for me. Computer, even. Good morning, tenants. It's Monday and the rents is due. It's the afternoon, and you've already told me this, but I will pay. I am rich now, to be fair. Leo, I know you're going to break that again. Get off it. <laughs> oh, he's got the one to math to reach the top of the athletic career, which he's about to do by the looks of it. And also to invite someone over. Let's, let's invite a friend round. You know what, Miles? You are absolutely desperate to talk to us all the time. Why don't you come round? And I'm going to get Eleanor to invite Corey round again. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get through to him this time. He's on his way. Let's get changed into something more appropriate. There he is. You don't even... I was staring out the window. You don't even need to ring the door. Bell. <laughs> Let's give him a little charm. Let's flirt with him right next to our dad, because that's not weird. There we go. We've got a crush on each other. He just walks into someone's house. <laughs> Does he live there? 
Introduce the neighbours. I've lived here for years, but I'm finally going to introduce myself. I don't care if you're asleep. Wake up. I've just realised that Eleanor is called Eleanor Grayson, not Eleanor Glass. Because they weren't married when she, uh, <laughs> when she was born. So the Glass family name will die with Leo, which is quite sad. But... This also means this is our uncle, so we should probably talk to him at some point in our lives. That's the first time I've met him. <laughs> and apparently, I'm happy to have this sim in my family. Although we may not always get along, our close family bonds will help keep us together. You've just met. I forgot all about Corey, but he was in someone else's house. I couldn't get to him. We'll kiss him tomorrow. Okay, we have work soon, and I'm just messing around here, so let's get ourselves to sleep. Oh, Leo doesn't have work for three days as well now. I really want to get to the top of the career before he dies so he can get his lifetime aspiration. Natalia, you sneaky gal. I didn't even know you'd painted this. Go sell it. Oh, she sold a masterpiece as well. Starving artist. Heck, selling a masterpiece beats working any day. Well, I can tell you've got that attitude because you're terrible at your job. Here we go. Eleanor's first day on the job. You look fantastic. Hopefully we get a promotion day one because she's got good skills. She's got the friends she needs. Okay, well, I didn't really jump our performance bar up much, but I guess our needs aren't amazing. Hi, Leo. You know, I think you'd really hit it off with this person I know. I'd love to set you up on a blind date right here and now. Are you interested? I am. <laughs> but by right here and now, does he mean that they'll just come straight to the house here and now and Natalia will see? Because then we will lose our lovely wife. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be loyal. No, thank you. You know I'm married, whoever you are. Look, we're mad. I will admire you, though. I admire your stupidity. I've never seen this glowing plate before. I'm not sure if it's because she's cooking 10 or she's got loads of enthusiasm in cooking. But there we go. <laughs> right, you're eating quite a lot. You were starving, but now you're just going to get fat. Which is obviously not a problem, but she's worked hard on that fitness. No promotion for Eleanor today. Maybe tomorrow. Get yourself to sleep. If I can get up early enough, I'll be able to invite Corey out somewhere before he goes to work. So I assume he works 9 till 5, just by the fact that when we called him between those times, he has not been available. So Natalia's going to become an elder in two days, so let's work on some of the things that she wants. She wants to become best friends with Brittany. So I'll do that. I'll call her as soon as it hits seven and we should immediately become best friends. There we are. Nice and easy. Stop talking to her because Eleanor needs the phone now. Community lot, please. Why would I go on a date with my mum and dad? No, thank you. Let's go for a good old fashioned AAM nightclub. First date, I want that kiss. All right. I'm also going to use this time to get our aspiration platinum. So it should be quite easy. Have a pillow fight. Dance. You always want a pillow fight in this game. I don't even know where I'm getting these pillows from. That was great fun. Now dance with me immediately. I'm done with that. Now I want to talk to you. <laughs> Just run through this as fast as we can. Can I kiss you? I can. First kiss. I'm scared. Am I doing moving too soon? Do you know what? I don't care. We're going to try it. Well, the aspiration bar went up, so I know that this is going to work. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Right next to Open Flames as well. Now, I'm going to suck you first. Okay, I'm moving on very quickly from what we've just done. I want to make out with him and everything, and he just wants to go dance on the sphere. Which I am going to do soon, actually. I forgot that was in this, in this lot. Just let me make out with you, for Christ's sake. There we are. Make out's an option. I've got what I needed from this. Although there is a hot tub upstairs. We could just <laughs> get that first woohoo out of the way while we're here, too. Excuse me, Nina and Darren. Would you mind getting out? <laughs> I need that for my friend. There we are. Oh, I could try for a baby. <laughs> but is it going too quick? Um, let's just woohoo. No babies this time. I'm fairly sure the man that stood at the side of the hot tub watching this is my uncle, who I just met yesterday, so... <laughs> I don't know if he's proud of me or not. 
Oh no, it's all good. We just woohooed in front of some random map. What? Could you? Could you please not? You don't have to get in the middle of us. This is. You've just pushed me into the floor. Pros engagement. Okay, no, let's. We're going too far there. I will eat this leftover hot dog. I'm gonna flirt with you too. I know you're rich, and I need to get out of this life that I've got. I mean, we're not actually poor anymore. I won't flirt until the date's over, though, because I can see Corey poking his little head around here. Do you mind if I just talk to this guy for the last part of the date? I wouldn't worry. Malcolm, get yourself back here. I'm literally throwing myself at you. Okay, well, we had our dream date, so that's good. Nama wants her all back to being very boring, but we'll give him a little kiss to end the date, and then we're going home. We do have work today. <laughs> Done all of this, and I still gotta go to work. All right, Corey, see ya. Probably for the last time. Actually, is there a way I can break up with you here? I might have to cheat in front of you. Okay, well, at least I'm dressed again, but that does mean that I put my clothes on in the taxi, which is also a bit strange. Whose car is this? Is this Leo's? Nope. Natalia, it's you. I have faith in you today. You're gonna get that promotion. I think I'm gonna call Malcolm. Just a chat because we didn't really build a relationship, but it would be good to have him as an option if we do want to just marry Rich. <laughs> not Corey. I love you, but I'm not interested. Sorry. Yeah, our relationship pretty much non-existent, but we can work on that. Oh, I can only tell this from the relationship panel, but I think Leo just got sunburn. <laughs> I don't even know what he did. Still got a lot of moves for an old man, though. All right, Eleanor, you've got work in an hour. Let's get you ready. All right, Natalia, come on. There we go. We are a waitress. After all of this time, we've finally become a waitress. So if you thought hosting was bad, just try waiting tables. This is a promotion. You better believe it. Be prepared to think on your feet to outwit and impress your often crafty customers in pursuit of the almighty tip. All while wearing a snazzy uniform and those ubiquitous pieces of flair. I also had a cold. Hello there, Natalia. You have a lot in common with my friend, Lauren Chan. Mind if I give Lauren your number? I think you two would get along as well as you and I do. Yeah, give me your number. I'd love to meet Lauren, thank you. I don't even know who you are. Christy Tiyanaga. Oh, no, I was out of habit going to flirt with her straight away. Natalia went from not having any friends to having quite a lot. And I'm just going to sneeze in a first, don't worry about it. Natalia will grow up in just one day at 6pm. It's time to plan a party and buy Natalia a birthday cake. Do you know what? We'll do that right now. I haven't had a party for pretty much anyone. Or anyone. I can't even remember if I've had a party for any of, the, of my sims in this playthrough. And I'm sorry, but you are going to have to throw your own party, Natalia. Your husband is a bastard. Yeah, I'll invite just dogs. Thank you. <laughs> when did I meet all these people? Brandy, you're coming to add to the awkwardness. Miles, get yourself over here. I can invite... I can invite my kids. But I won't. Get yourself around, everyone. I'm getting old. Missing some of your party guests. I was friends with all of them this time, though. So why... Why did this not work? It's been years since we were together. So Leo and Brandy, let's see what happens if you become close. Oh, they literally don't have any relationship anymore. So they shouldn't be mad. See, we can get past it. Oh, Ellen is home. And she's promoted. And we've got a friend. And we've got a cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm not going to read all of Eleanor's ones because we already did this with Leo. So pause to read. Well, I've already deleted it. Go back and pause to read. All right, Natalia, it's time for you to blow out your candles. And I might make Miles age up too, because it would make sense. I did make them to be twins, so this is nice. I've finally thrown a party, and I'm finally watching someone age up without speeding through it. <laughs> Leo's not bothered, though. He's gone. I thought I was going to miss it. <laughs> Stylish as ever, though. Love to see it. Still looking nifty over 50. Let's invite, not invite, let's age up. Oh, can I not invite? Why do I keep saying invite? Can I not age up people that I made? I don't know who any of you are. Do you know what? I'm aging up alone. Screw you all. Peace. Not to sound smug, but I think I've been doing pretty great. I feel good and well on my way to a great life. So Natalia's grown into an elder. As an adult, Natalia achieved the aspiration level of noted notable. That's great. Natalia is ready to make the most out of her golden years. Oh, enjoy your cake, girl. You deserve it. I mean, you didn't work hard at work, but you worked hard painting, so... Everyone's having a good time at my party, though, which is nice. It usually ends up being not bad at best. This birthday party rocked. Great job. Now, everyone, get out. I'm going to let them work for a little bit longer, and then they're going to retire. I mean, I might get Natalia to retire pretty soon. She's not exactly bringing in the big bucks, is she? Yeah, Eleanor's needs are really good. 
So what do I need to focus on for? I don't need it yet, but I will need mechanical skill soon. So I'm going to get that. Oh, Eleanor's got the day off. I did not pay attention. Go on, Natalia, get yourself to work. Let's get you... Let's get you that promotion. I think we'll get you one more promotion, and then you can live the life of luxury. I'm going to see if I can ask Malcolm out on a date. She's just like her dad. She can't decide who she likes. Sounds great. I'll see you soon. Don't be late. I'm not invite my parents, for God's sake. What do I want? Play Tickle Pillow Fight Dance. Stop being attracted to that man. Be attracted to me, please. Okay, the date is good. <laughs> he wants to dance, have a pillow fight, and dine out. I don't know where we can dine out. I mean, I don't want to move lots, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Should we actually go and eat some food while we're here? Because I think I'm pretty hungry. I am. I want to add this pie to my shopping bag. Thank you. We're all attracted to this guy, apparently. Someone going to serve me. I've been stood here for ages. Brittany, hurry up. <laughs> can I eat that now? I can't even eat it here. What's the point of all these chairs? Okay, well, I wasted all my time trying to buy that pie. That was a pleasant way to spend some time. You're nice to be with. Okay, thanks, Malcolm. It's very kind of you to say. I guess I'm going home. What a terrible time. <laughs> Let's make dinner for everyone. Oh, crap. That is a lot of fire. Leo, could you go inside? Because you will die. Oh, it's gone. We're all good. Oh, Natalia's getting promotions galore at the minute. She's a prep cook. So you've memorised everything on the menu and managed to work your way into a position as a prep cook. It's not glamorous, but it's real kitchen work, and you look styling in that big white hat. Get comfortable with the slicing, dicing, and julienne fries. You're not going to get any farther in this industry if you don't know your basic cooking inside out. I mean, she's like a cooking master. Oh, no, she's not. She's cooking eight. Hi, I'm Joshua. Since my friend Corey had such a great time with you the other day, I thought I'd see if you wanted to go downtown. Yes, I will go out at any time, anywhere. My needs aren't great, but I can sleep on the floor when we're out. You're the one who called me, so I'll go talk. Oh, Corey, we're not together. Stop following me everywhere. What's this blue thing? I always forget. Contact. So I barely know this sim, but I bet if we spend more time getting to know each other, we would become good friends. I should pay attention to our conversations and make a plan to get together sometime. Eleanor, you're right. You're already here. <laughs> right, I'm not one to bail on my friends, but I actually am. So I'm going to go talk to Malcolm, who's right here. He's, <laughs> he's got the moves, though. You'd love to see it. I might flirt with you in front of Corey, so he leaves me alone as well. Right, you back off, Sophie. This is my man. There we go. He caught on. Oh, you bastard. If I see you again, you are getting locked in a room. Man, that was an awful time. Keep us off your next invite. I don't care. I had a great time with my new pal, Joshua. And I'm lying me a rich man. Thank you. I'm very tired and very hungry. I am going to die if I don't go home. So <laughs> It was very fun, but very brief. I've got to go. Hello. I'm just going to put this burger on the side so I can pass out, if that's all right. Oh, no, I'm trying to go to bed. Eat the food. You're going to die. Oh, fine, sleep on the floor for a little bit, but you will die if you don't eat. I've eaten something at least. I'm not going to die. But I will keep an eye on her needs while she's asleep because she might die in the night. Um, Dad, I'm trying to sleep. And why are you playing money for tips? <laughs> You're in your own house. I've just realised my dad is the coach. And he's still got me as a minor leaguer. Get me in the team. I love a bit of nepotism. Okay, Leo's on the way to work. Oh, everyone's going to work at the same time. I think Corey's been here. He kicked that over. <laughs> We all went nine till three as well. That's nice. So, a local society dame has contracted with Natalia's restaurant to cater her daughter's wedding to a local wealthy, bus wealthy businessman. This overly extravagant affair promptly causes headaches for the entire staff. The demands range from the silly 500 miniature swans made entirely of coconut paste to the impossible. Can you get powder blue lettuce greens for the salads? The sous chef is so busy taking care of these demands that he leaves the decision about the soup, surprise us, entirely up to Natalia. Should she make Italian wedding soup or the less traditional Louisiana gumbo? Louisiana gumbo sounds disgusting. So it's Italian wedding soup. Thank you. So since she's only served her Italian wedding soup at bar mitzvahs and graduation parties, Natalia decides to correct this ironic state of affairs. When the wedding party arrives, Natalia notices that the family is Italian and briefly fears that creation wasn't good enough for their tastes. She wrings her dish towel as she peeks out from behind a pillar, waiting to see their reaction. And it's an absolute success. Bodissima bellows the bride's father, and he insists upon meeting the chef responsible for the soup. Natalia is greatly praised, and the patriarch informs her that he will insist upon Natalia's services for all of his company's gatherings. 
Overjoyed at the new business, Natalia's employer gives her a tidy cut of the profits from the new bookings. She gains 2,000 simoleons and one cooking point for a scum scrumptious creation. Give me a promotion. Please. If I'm not promoted today, I'm, I'm losing it. So Eleanor's a rookie. Again, pause to read because I have read these out in the past. Natalia is a sous chef, so it's ironic that the more accomplished you become, the less you actually- Stop it. The less you actually- Stop! <laughs> Pause again. The less you actually touch the food, is what I'm trying to say. A sous chef, you're spending most of your time as a manager and cheerleader for your kitchen staff. If you want to keep moving up, you'll have to prove you've got the eccentric creativity needed to create novel dishes. Bon appetit. Great. Good for you. And Leo's a Hall of Famer, so you are now a living legend. The residents of Sim City shower you with a ticker tape parade, and your number is retired. The team gives you an office and a salary as their goodwill ambassador. This is as good as it gets. Look at the amount of money that we have now. We've reached the top of the athletic career. Leo has fulfilled a lifetime one, so he's platinum forever. Everything is great. Corey. Corey! I am not standing for this going on the balcony and just staying on the balcony don't ever kick my bin over again i mean you physically can't now i think it's time for a little remodel let's get eleanor a double bed there we go she can even have the nice bed and i'm gonna invite malcolm over let's nail down this relationship and nail down in the bed is what i was gonna say but I'd, I, that's not appropriate okay i can finally kiss him <laughs> so that's good repose stay the night we all know what's happening now. Corey just walked out of the door. He's locked in. Whatever. There's nothing I can do about that. Corey, you live to see another day, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, I'm going to sleep, but I think Malcolm's outside. Yeah. <laughs> but the woohoo didn't happen. Natalia, could you please stop turning that on? This is why I delete all the stereos. Carpool comes in an hour. Leo's just gone. Uh, not Leo. Malcolm has just gone. <laughs> oh, hey, Clarence. I think this person's called Clarence. Yep. You seem like a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product and I'd be interested to hear your feedback on it. Here's a free sample for you to mess around with. Who did- Is that Natalia who got that? See, I can't tell because she called me Clarence. This television is crap. It's like an iPhone mini. Why would I want this? Three and a half thousand for that as well. I will take it. Thank you. And there we go. Ellen has been promoted again. She's doing great too. Um, again, pause to read because I have read them out in earlier episodes and I don't want to annoy you. I'm going to buy some gym equipment and put it in this office because I haven't used it since our kids moved out. I'm keeping the crappy posters mainly because I can't be bothered rather than any attachment to them. Not every stock tip pans out. Your household lost 1,422 simoleons on the stock market today. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm rich. It's so easy to keep the needs up when you actually have nice furniture. <laughs> Which, obviously, I know that already, but comparing it to the start of this, it was awful. Okay, and Ellen has got the body skills she needs. Let's keep her needs up so that she can actually get a promotion today as well. And we might be able to get her lifetime want done straight away. Corey! <laughs> Please stop. Okay, Ellen is back. And we're promoted again. We're an all-star. <laughs> you become a household name in SimCity in four days. I was going to read that out, but again... Go back to read it if you want to, but we have read them already. This is it, okay? It's baby time. Malcolm, I'm going to trap you with a kid. Look at that. Sweaty after work kiss. Perfect. I could ask him to move in, but it's too soon. I'll just make out instead in public. And we're in love. Let's get upstairs. I'm wasting no time. I want that baby. I want your money. I've really set the mood here. Uh, that's why none of the lamps are on and I'm wearing my gym clothes. But I'm trying for a baby. <laughs> that was nice. Baby sound? I'm pregnant. Oh, oh, Malcolm's already running away. Too late for you now. Um, Mum, could you please stop inviting strangers into the house? Because they always play my violin and I'm always asleep. Hey, Linda, piss off, please. I'm always so polite when I send people away and that's not what I was going for. That is just one constant no that she did for hours there. <laughs> oh, she's got morning sickness. Oh, I've clearly already been sick. The toilet looks disgusting. She's done it again. Good job the landlord cleans it up for us. I love landlords. The practice has been cancelled due to the large volcano that recently sprouted up beneath the visiting team's locker room, so Eleanor has some free time on her hands. Some of the seamers decided to hold an informal practice session, 
but a larger group is headed off to play the Bank 9 at SimCity Lynx. What should Eleanor do? They always say that business is done out of the office. I'm going to go play golf and network with the higher-ups. So Eleanor hasn't been out on the golf course in a while, but she decides to borrow a set of clubs from a teammate and take a whack at it. On the 13th hole, a notorious par 3 with a dog leg shielding the green from view of the, t of the tee box, her teammates organise a contest to see who can get closer to the pin. Everyone throws in 1,000 simoleons and prepares to tee off. Eleanor is last to go and hits a 4-iron up over the bend of the dog leg. They walk to the green and check the markings of the various balls and Eleanor is the only one even on the green. Eleanor wins 4,000 simoleons and 2 charisma skill points. If only I got one more body skill point, I could have got a promotion today. <laughs> Who's this for? Natalia, is this you? You clearly don't want to go to work. You can retire right now. I can't, I'm trapped. My husband's pooing and it's completely trapped me in this room. Would you like to retire? Yes. So we get a 290 simoleons daily, so she can chill. Leo, you're going to retire too. Because we're getting so much money, I almost feel like I'm cheating. Well, I think I'm going to end part eight here. Uh, but we've made good progress. We have so much money now. We're about to marry a rich sim. Well, we hope we will. We've trapped him with our baby. So we're pregnant and we should have the baby in the next part. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop it a like and a comment. And if you don't subscribe already, please do. It's fun to play with Eleanor being the main focus. And we should start building a family again here. So it's going to be pretty exciting. So thanks for being here and I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.